Hello everyone, welcome to Godblack's YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing on how to face the IT aptitude exams which are contacted for the selected IT degree programs which is offered in the state universities of Sri Lanka. In this video, I will be guiding you all on the paper structure and the method to get ready for that exams. So, Please watch the complete video to get the complete idea. I made this video in order to give you the confidence you need to face this exam and to make you all aware of the content and the structure of the paper which you are gonna face in the aptitude exam. The most and the vital knowledge which you need in order to face this exam is English because these exams will be conducted in the English language so you should be able to read and understand the question and to choose the correct answer from the MCQ so whenever you are applying and getting ready for the exam please make sure that you are able to read and understand English Furthermore, if we discuss on how the structure of the paper will be and what are the knowledges will be tested, the basic paper structure will be a 40 question MCQ paper in the most of the aptitude test. But in few of the other aptitude tests, they will be testing you on with a structure paper as well. So in the structure, they will like require basic IT knowledge in order to like uh, write the answers for those structure papers and also furthermore let's go deep onto the knowledge like which they will be really testing on it will be the basic IQ and gender knowledge and they will be testing on your logic and max problem solving knowledge and also they will be checking on your basic IT knowledge so like let's furthermore look on to the content of these uh, topics in the basic logics and IQ mostly like they will be focusing on basic questions and they will try to play with words in order to make you confused but as I mentioned before if you are good to go with English and like even if you can understand English then you can easily crack the problems because most of the max and the logic problems they will be testing on you will be from grade 5 scholarships uh, like uh, in that pattern they, on, they only follow those pattern uh, to test you and also they will be testing on like a few number patterns few uh, designs desolations so if you are familiar with those things it will be very easy to do those questions for you <laughs> and also the recommended way to get ready for any exam is referring the past papers and practicing more in this also it's same but I would like to brief you the topics which you should touch in a while you prepare. When it comes to IT basics, you should go through flowcharts, computer basics, basic networking and basic logic gates with a basic knowledge on applications such as Paint, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and so on. So this topics will be really really helpful to face the exams confidently and furthermore if you look on to max you should go through simple logical questions which involves in less paperwork but a trick understanding on it and you should go through number patterns which is really really important because they will be testing on you with several number patterns in several forms in iq you should be able to recognize patterns recognize logics of which they will be testing on you and don't worry everything will be a simple question with uh, some sort of like a tricky way of presentation and if we look deep onto the structure of the paper which is conducted by the each university 
the information systems aptitude exam which is conducted by a UCSC will be a 40 question MCQ paper where you have to share the answers in the given paper and it will be like uh, it will cover all the topics which I mentioned you earlier mostly they will not be testing much on general knowledge but get a, uh, being prepared for general knowledge will also give you an extra confident but they will be mostly checking you with the logics and patterns and like problem solving in a tricky way and also when you we look on to the MIT paper which is conducted by the University of Kalania they will be testing you with a MCQ and a structure paper in the structure paper you should be able to do a full flowchart question but it will be a simple one but yet uh, being prepared to do a flowchart question will be a added, added point in MIT paper and also Vaunia campus and Rajarata campus also conduct aptitude test for the ICT uh, degree program and there will also be MCQ papers in those MCQ papers you will able to face like 40 MCQs and it will also cover the topics which I mentioned you earlier and also when you take the industrial information technology and computer science and technology degree programs which are offered by Uwa University they also conduct uh, aptitude exams for that both have uh, like a 40 question mcq paper but the industrial information technology will only cover the topics which i mentioned you earlier meanwhile the computer science and technology paper will have some physics questions in it the physics uh, questions are from your a level syllabus but they will not be going deep into the questions but is good to be prepared and also I will attach a few model papers which I was able to find in the internet uh, because most of the most like all of these aptitude exams does not allow to take you the paper back to home so you can see the structure of the paper in the drive link which I have attached in the description and yeah these are few screenshots of the exam papers which was conducted in the previous year so this will give you a basic idea on what the questions and how it will be so if you like check the second question a conference with 3600 participants gathers in Albany like it's it's a simple question but the thing is it comes in English and the thing is you have to do it in the limited time but I hope for those to for all the students who have like excel in their a levels will not this will not be an issue but the thing is if you face this with confidence you will be able to crack it in a simple way and also like if you look on to the these questions which are also conducted in the aptitude exams it, it covers some basic it knowledge how a url look like how a domain is defi defined because those are the basic knowledge which we should have as a internet user and also like we should be aware of these things since we are always interacting with uh, modern technological and IT related devices as the additional tips which I need to force on you is the basic thing is if you have applied for any of the uh, degree program which has an aptitude exam please 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 be aware of the deadlines to apply 
for the aptitude exam because they will gazette it on the paper and they will publish in their websites so like keep updated on the university sites uh, like for the degree program which you have applied so you can find the links and you can find the procedure to apply so that is really important because even though if you have applied for those degree programs in the UGC it will not be helpful if you aren't like writing for the aptitude exams and also since this covid uh, we can't assure the date or the mode they will be uh, testing on you so be prepared on the areas i told you because whenever they ask you to write the exams it will be easier for you to go and do the exams well so these tips will be like really helpful for you all and i hope uh, with the help of this thing you can easily crack your exam and get selected to the university and i wish you all the best and best of luck for your future as well i hope this video was really really helpful for you if you do feel so please be kind enough to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you have any doubts or any request or else any complaints please be feel free to post it in the comment sections thank you for watching